Back now with the frightening proposition facing us as unemployment figures skyrocket. Goldman Sachs reportedly predicting 2 million Americans are expected to apply for benefits by next week. So personal financial expert Farnoosh Tarubi is here with us now with some useful suggestions, whether you've just lost your full time or your hourly wage job, or you fear you may be laid off in the future. So Farnoosh, welcome back and thanks for being with us. I want to start with those people who have recently found themselves suddenly unemployed. What are some of the first things they should be doing? The first thing is definitely to apply for unemployment. If you are officially off payroll at your company, even if it's just temporary, some people are being furloughed with their hours cut back or their, uh, excuse me, with the, with the promise that they, they can come back in, in two months or in a month, you can probably still qualify for unemployment insurance. So go to your state's website and apply. There's a backup right now, so anticipate a bit of a wait. All right, now we're hearing from a lot of experts saying we are headed for a recession, so things may be getting much worse before they get better. So what should we all be doing financially to prepare for that? Your number one responsibility right now is to save your money. Shore up that cash cushion. I remember I got laid off in the 2009 recession. The unemployment rate was sky high, and it took people about eight months on average to find a job. So if you fall into that category of losing your job, know that you want to have at least six to 12 months of savings. And how do you find that savings? I'm saying really weird stuff right now, Amy. I'm saying like, you know what? Stop paying more than the minimums on your debt. Take that cash and put it in savings. You have a Roth IRA you've been contributing to, maybe take some of those contributions out, penalty-free, tax-free, and put them in a liquid savings account. Ta look into def deferring your rent, deferring your mortgage. Don't feel bad about it. This is not anybody's fault. Yeah, all those normal uh, rules are kind of out the window at this point. And you have a very interesting savings tip for couples. I love this, so tell everyone about it. Yeah, so this is a pro tip for couples out there who are dual earners. Try living on just one person's income and banking the other person's income. This is how many people save up for big ticket items, whether that's their wedding or a new house. In this crisis, this could also work for you. And it's an experiment. Try it for a week or two, one or two pay cycles and see how it goes. It's a great way to accelerate that savings cushion, get motivated, and then go back to saving in other ways. All right. Very important and useful information there, Farnoosh. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.